Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Kaiser Ray mod as the Commune of France. Alright, guys, so one of the first things I wanted to go ahead and do is one thing I noticed here uh, with our planes is that we're over the air volunteers limit. Now, I was thinking that limit was for each country. That is our total limit for air volunteers, uh, and we have uh, 200 out right now, 100 over here and 100 in America, so obviously we're going to want to fix that because I don't think our planes are helping in Spain right now. I think that's what's happening. Uh, is that are helping here, but not helping over there? Because uh, you can notice we're not, we don't have any penalty here. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not a uh, red. Where in this case, it very much is. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is let's just go ahead and delete this air wing, disband that air wing, uh, so that it will fix the situation, um, so that we can actually provide a bit of air support over here, uh, because it's a problem. Um, because here in Spain, things are. are not going as well as they are in America. Uh, so we're going to want to pay special attention over there, uh, which means that we're going to make sure that we have our divisions over here currently doing something yeah, like this guy on. coming over here, cutting these guys off. Um, what else could we do here? Uh, well, these guys are still attempting to wrap these troops up here. Having a lot of difficulty with that, surprisingly. Uh, I think what we're going to do is just pull that back a bit um, because these are clearly... We need to let them weaken just a bit. They're clearly cut off in supply. Not too worried about them getting that supply back. Uh, over I'm here with sure. these divisions, I'm not entirely sure what we did with him. I think we just we were worried about him moving over here. I think there's somebody there. Um, so we're going to continue allowing him to move there uh, to make sure that we don't get ourselves cut off. Uh, and then, of course, there are some troops down here as well. But it seems that the uh, Americans are they're fighting it out there. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Uh, over here, uh, we had already uh, set up our divisions here uh, in preparation for... An attack on Belgium, which we're going to be getting the claim against them in the 5th of September. So it's, you know, what's that? 15 days away. So it's not long, guys. Uh, so one of the first things that we're going to want to go ahead and do is uh, get ourselves a commander uh, for these armies that are going to be uh, fighting this war over here. Uh, so I think some of our, um, well, this is one of our best guys here. Uh, so clearly we'll probably want to have him leading one of our armies. However, one of the problems with this guy that I have with this guy here is that he doesn't really have, let me just take a look at, yeah, he can get the combined arms expert. I suppose that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I like that. All right, so we're going to get that. Sure, why not? Uh, and then he could lead these motorized troops. Okay, it seems that he also has another trade as well, but there's nothing available to pick right now, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and we'll put him in charge of the motorized since he has that bonus there. Uh, the Red Army guy. Uh, we want somebody who's very defensive. I didn't even look at this guy's stats at all. They're pretty good. All right. Uh, the Red Army, we're going to want a defensive guy, clearly. We could sort by defensive. Um, that's an option. But I don't think we have anybody really good. We have this guy. He is a Panzer leader. Um... Okay, yeah, I mean, he's clearly our best dude here, uh, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to see if anybody's have any entrenchment bonuses, and it doesn't look like they do. Let me just take a look if he can get anything really good uh, that could help us on defense. Not really. Uh, how about uh, Gene here? Could he get anything? Um, well, he can get Panzer Expert. That's good for Panzers. <laughs> it doesn't really help us that much. Um, that is a planning speed bonus right there. That is not bad. Let me just see here. Cautious. Um, the planning speed is worse. All right. Well, we don't have any armor troops, so this guy's not going to help us. So what I think we're going to do here, we get max entrenchment. Uh, so let's go ahead and place this guy, uh, in charge. I know that obviously he's not the best guy, uh, to be leading them, but you know what? I think it'll work. It'll work out fine. He's going to lead the Red Army. We're going to get him improved. Um, did he have... A treat, trait, I don't think he did. I think we looked at this. He does not. All right. So that'll work out nicely. Uh, those guys are appointed so that when the 5th of September happens, we can uh, make sure that we can get engaged in that conflict as soon as possible. So where are our troops here? We're defending there. Okay. I would love if that war in, in America got wrapped up soon. Um, okay. So the war over here is over now. Interesting. Let's see. It looks like uh, Ching has uh, expanded their lands a little bit. We also have a civilian factory uh, a couple of civilian factories, I think, that are not currently building anything, so let's go and work on something. Uh, let's take a look at what we need. Um, we need... Well, we need dockyards. <laughs> if we want to get any kind of fleet to uh, build to oppose the Germans, uh, we're going to want dockyards. Um, but obviously, we should probably work on some of the other stuff, the, the higher priorities right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to do one more refinery, uh, because I feel like we need another refinery at this moment. Um, so we're going to go get one more of these. 
because uh, we're working on two of these here. Uh, and then we're also going to get a, another civilian factory here as well. I think that would probably be a wise move. We're going to do it in the 80% here because I, I think we're going to be all right uh, if we take over Belgium. Of course, we don't know how that war in Belgium is going to end up going. Uh, it could go quite badly. Um, if, for instance, you know, maybe somebody else pulls them into the, the their faction, you know, and then we could find ourselves in a faction war. Definitely a possibility. So these guys are now cut off from supply, and it looks like they did it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is let's wipe these troops out here. Um, and then I'll push them over here, and that's fine. I'm not going to use this guy to take that because I really want him to start heading over here. Remember, we're trying to get control of New Orleans. Uh, pretty important. Looks like these guys got cut off as well, so that's awesome. Uh, but we're still attempting to wrap these troops up here, so this is a little bit of a problem because they're quite powerful, um, despite the fact that they've been cut off for a little while, so you know, I'm not entirely sure how that happened. I think what we need to do is go ahead and give a bit of a planning bonus here. Let's get our guys uh, a planning bonus because clearly they're having an issue. Um, same thing over here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that there's a planning bonus here as well. That'd probably be wise. Uh, and we'll just assign them there. I don't know if these guys are assigned. It looks like one of them is. It's fun to make sure they're both assigned to that. Uh, and this guy, he doesn't he doesn't need a plan, but he'll, he'll be fine. It looks like we already won there. Uh, so that's good news. All right, so let's take a look and make sure that our planes here are now no longer getting any kind of penalties. Yeah, it looks like they should be supporting now, uh, which should start to make a difference um, having actual air support here. That might have been why we were having difficulty there. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch the front out here, guys. To keep these guys here because we're really we're we're just trying to hold the defensive line right now because our our guys here are not doing so well. Um, one thing that was uh, proposed was perhaps us uh, sending them some equipment, and perhaps we should. Uh, let me just take a look at our stockpile and see what we have available to send. Really, just infantry equipment. That's it, and we probably should send it to them. Uh, another thing that has been proposed is perhaps not helping Spain at all, and instead invading Spain um, while they're weak here from the Civil War. Um, because remember, these are radical socialists. Um, they're not uh, the same exact ideology as us. Which you do have to be. Um, you can't just be socialist. You have to be the exact same in this mod. Be the exact same ideology uh, in order to join their factions. Uh, I don't know if that applies when they have, um, oh, wait a minute, hmm, I think this is a special national focus tree for the Civil War, or perhaps, I'm not entirely sure, maybe it's not, alright, I want to see if there's any way for them to, to join, yeah, they can join our faction, so, yeah, I think they should be able to join the faction. We're going to go ahead and continue helping them, guys. I think that's the best way to do this. I know some people were saying, oh, well, you know, it'd be far funner to attack them. And it would be. Uh, I, I'm not going to say it's, it would be far, you know, funner to to launch an attack against them. Um, but you know what? I think this is the, probably the best route to do it, guys. Right, right. So let me see if we can get a win there now. No, we cannot. These guys aren't even in their best realm here. We're not even helping in mountains. I'm really concerned we're about to lose this over here as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm just actually shocked at uh, how much difficulty we're having over here in Spain. Uh, I would love to get the American situation wrapped up so we can send more troops to Spain. Uh, it would be really helpful to have the four divisions here. So let's go ahead and attack over here with these troops. We're going to attempt to get behind these guys. Uh, and then, yeah, these guys, it would be far better to have them uh, coming over here racing towards New Orleans. But, yeah, it's, it's too late now. Uh, let's go ahead and attempt another attack here. Yeah, they're just not taking the attrition needed. Uh, in order to get them defeated here, interestingly enough. All right, we'll just keep on getting the planning bonus. Um, I don't want them breaking out here, so we will keep these two divisions over here. That's fine. Uh, they need to get wiped out. Um, and we are pushing over there, so that's good. We're winning that. Let's go and swing Continue on back over attack. here. Uh, we're about uh, less than a week now uh, from getting our our claim on Belgium, and, yeah, and then we're not going to be able to focus too much on this conflict. Man, these guys are defending here hard. Um, so we did get the help to our South American brothers, um, so that's awesome. I'm pretty sure we did the Spanish one. I'm not sure if we didn't, then we should probably do it, because uh, clearly they're having issues. Yeah, we did the support the CNT. All right, um, let me just see here what would be useful for us to get here. Well, um, I, th I think we might want to do that mission there. I also really think we need to start working on um, 
getting some of these ones here because there are some great bonuses here uh, especially those factories so definitely something that we're probably going to get here kind of early um let me just see here. I'm just kind of going across here because we have so many options available to us. A lot of options, guys. Um, so these ones here are research. Uh, and then we got a bunch of developing uh, where we can develop our develop lands and, and whatnot. Um, these are actually developing the lands of our allies, interestingly. Huh. All right. Well, that's not something I want to do right now. Uh, so this is, during the meeting of the Old University, Cambridge was decided to establish a worldwide plan to combine the technology advances in the countries. The plan was since evolved into a more ambitious plan into helping them. So yeah, this is about constructing uh, stuff in their lands. Well, I really only want to do the technology one right now. I think this would be really important uh, to get in our technology research a little bit quicker if us and Britain were working together. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, it looks like the war is breaking out in the Balkans. Serbia just declared war on uh, Bulgaria, which I would assume would then result in the other countries in the Belgrade Pact joining that war. Uh, so Bulgaria is going to be in a war on three separate fronts. It's probably not going to go well for them. Rise of the Mongol Empire. All right, so <laughs> the Mongolian Khanate here are apparently doing well. I almost want to read this. Um, yeah, they could uh, pose a threat to the established powers in the Far East, but the Fresh Khan's ambitions can only grow higher. All right. Uh, so yeah, they have a, a Khan over there. Uh, he's trying to create a new Khanate. I, I, I guess he already has. The Fourth Balkan War, we already noticed that, that the Balkan War has broken out here, guys. Um, so yeah. Hopefully, I, I mean, we're not really rooting for anybody over here, so I'm not going to say hopefully anything, because none of them are uh, our same ideology, so I don't really care who wins, honestly. Uh, so uh, there might be some strategic reasons to care about a certain group winning. Uh, do we want, let me just take a look here. I know that we're short resource, guys. Obviously, the oil um, is going to continue being a problem, and I, I feel like not getting this would probably be a mistake. Um, but let me just make sure. If there's not anything else that we need really, really bad, uh, because it's been a day since I played and I have the memory of a goldfish. It's about 24 hours, so <laughs> I can't, can't remember what we were what we were getting, what we needed over here. I, I think we could we could get that. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that, guys. I know that we were you know, we're working on land doctrines. Uh, I know that we were talking about getting some of the other doctrines as well. But you know what? I think we're good uh, for right now. Let's let's do it, guys. Let's go ahead and get the oil processing. I think that's going to be needed. Obviously, we're going to need that rubber as well. Um, but we're never going to get enough rubber to, to support the things we need. Uh, oil yeah, oil is going to be a problem as well. Just everything's going to be an issue. Uh, we finally won here. And uh, also, this defense has uh, won as well. Uh, we got our justification. All right, excellent. So I really want to move towards Madrid here. Because uh, that's the way to win here. So let's attempt. Let's attempt to attack him there. And this is really just to finish this up. Um, and it looks like it's going to be a win anyways. All right, excellent. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and do something there. Let me just take a look at America before we uh, go focus in on something else. Uh, currently just defending here. Looks like we lost an attack there, perhaps. Uh, and let's go ahead and help out here. Or try to. Actually, why don't you guys go ahead and take that um, so they don't have anywhere to retreat to. I guess they can retreat up there. Uh, it looks like they have started to push them back now. That's excellent news. Let's go ahead and attempt to help them out here uh, with our nice planning bonus that we've gotten. Uh, and yes, we now have our available war goal. Let's go ahead and declare war. They're not part of a faction or anything. Um, and do we want to call our allies in? No. No. There's no reason to call the allies in, at the, any of our allies at the moment. Um, I think we should be able to win this on our own, right? right. You would think. Um, I think we'll uh, probably just manually control this. Yeah, why the hell not? Yeah, let's just manually control it. And there's, I mean, the AI is going to do pretty much exactly what I'm doing right now. Uh, so can we... I mean, th these are all fortified provinces as well, uh, which is unfortunate. We have to attack into fortified provinces, but there's really not anything else that we can do about it right now. That's, that's the... Uh, uh, the cards we've been dealt here. Uh, we're not going to attack across the river. That's one thing we're not going to do uh, as, uh, um, you know, manually controlling this. Although these guys, I don't think will get the river penalty. I could be wrong. Uh, just double check here. Yeah, no river penalty there. So that attack is fine. Uh, let's go and attack these guys over here going that way. Um, I don't know where you guys are attempting to go. You know, it would be lovely if you uh, one right there and cut those three divisions off. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, cut them off. Uh, actually... Yeah, I think what we might do here is just pull this back. So 
So that doesn't end up being a win that quickly. Uh, and then we'll attack. We'll just probably split these guys up here. Like so. You guys attack over that way. And you guys attack this way. Oh, that would be a loss. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, but that's okay. That is a okay, guys. I'm all right that. Just uh, be patient. Oh, we have one more division because that. Maybe that'll tick it into a victory. Nope, not quite. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, where the fuck did all our volunteers go? What happened? Oh, because we're at war. Oh, damn. I didn't think about that. Yeah, we can't help anymore. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right, I mean, we still wanted to go to war. I mean, that doesn't change. We can always send them back. Uh, let's get this war done as quickly as possible. I know that this here is a loss. That's fine, guys, because like I said, I want to take that. I want it to be a loss uh, so that we can actually uh, destroy those three divisions. Uh, that'd be the best way to do it. Um, yeah, all these are losses. Well, yeah, we're attacking four to five provinces. That's to be expected. Um, what I think we're going to do, let's go ahead and deal with this first. We got excavation. That should help with the resources just a little bit. Um, not quite in 1938 yet. I think we should probably start. Uh, we already have something going towards the Navy there. Uh, let me just see if there's any other um, infantry techs here that we could work on now. That would make sense working on right now. Um, I suppose, nah, that's the hot and cold acclimation. There's no reason to rush for that, guys. Absolutely no reason to rush for that. We're not going to rush for these either. Uh, no reason to do that. And we're pretty much good on all this as well. I do want to get those anti-tanks, but we can't. Well, we could add them to our army, actually. Uh, yeah, we could do that. And that might be something we want to get. Let's go and do that. Let's do the anti-tanks. That makes sense. All right, so clearly this is going to be lost here. Uh, this one, excuse me. It's these troops. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have them uh, assist in this attack here to get that to be a green. Uh, we need to start using our forces a little bit smarter uh, because clearly uh, we're not gonna win some of these attacks here. I'm gonna continue that attack right there, uh, even though it's a loss for right now, because the Belgian they can't possibly have that much manpower and equipment so all right there we go that's it there we go going to attack over that way guys uh you guys are gonna come up over here uh probably send let's split these guys red army can go that way red army and blue army go this way all right excellent so looking a lot better now all right we're, like i said we're gonna continue this attack uh, i'm fine with it being a loss uh, for right now because we're not getting any nasty penalties or anything uh you guys can come over this way and you guys can come over here keep on attacking pushing forward guys uh, so those guys should be wrapped up very soon. Those three divisions are going to be completely wiped out. You guys are going to come on up over here and... Oops. God damn it, I thought I had them selected. Apparently, I did not uh, come over here and help. Get in there. All right. So with these four divisions into it, we should be able to push them back there. Uh, we won here. That's fortified province as well, so that's pretty big. Um, and we will continue an attack there. Let's go ahead and attack up this way. Those guys are fairly weak, so we should be able to get behind them here. And yeah, this is going to be... Uh, this will be over very soon, guys. It's not going to last much longer. Uh, and... Can you guys attack up here? Yes, they can. Alright, so go ahead and knock that out for me. Uh, and then these guys. Let's... Actually, let's do this a bit different. Let's have the... Let's have the weaker troops, because the blue army is not looking too good. We'll have them come up behind these guys here, uh, while you guys attack that way. Alright. It's just about done, guys. Uh, and then this army here. Attack there. Get Antwerpen. And make sure that we have troops attacking across all the fronts. Um, and yeah, we're going to be getting that soon. And let me just have you guys attack over that way. Uh, since clearly we're having some issues there. Um, well, we already won there. Let's grab that province instead and have them attack over here. Uh, so our, yes, our volunteer forces have all returned home. We're not going to do anything with them though. Uh, because we're going to be sending them back out, guys, uh, soon. Uh, but we're probably going to switch up how we have that. I hope the Spain doesn't lose... Oh, yes, that's right. I was going to send them equipment. Oops, my bad. Uh, let's go and send them a little bit of equipment, guys. Uh, we're going to give them lend lease infantry equipment. Completely forgot I was going to do this. Uh, so let's give them some infantry equipment. A one-time shot of... I think we're going to do... Oh, man. Let's... I don't want to give them too much. Let's, I guess we'll give them a lot. Fine, it's fine. We'll give them a thousand. Uh, a thousand infantry equipment um, so that they can hopefully win their conflict. Uh, and you know they're going to accept it, obviously. Uh, we do have a military factory to get assigned here. So let's go ahead and see exactly where we need it. Well, artillery is still pretty short, guys. So let's put it into the artillery. Uh, tungsten's a problem as well. Yeah, that's unfortunate. 
Uh, see, yeah, it's just that oil and that tungsten. We're just gonna leave that as is for right now, though, guys. Um, I think that's probably the best way to do this. We're still attacking over here. We're gonna go ahead and send some more troops over here into that attack. It looks like it should be a win now. Uh, they'll, they'll be capitulated any moment now, guys. Let's go ahead and bring all these troops over here. You guys are going that way instead. Go ahead and attack over that way. You guys are gonna attack. We're gonna split this up here. When you guys go that way, you guys go in this way. Go. Just kind of spread the love a little bit. And uh, get these guys defeated. It shouldn't take much longer before they capitulate. Just come over here. Conquer them. Uh, we do have dockyards and factories that we just got from Belgium. So let's go ahead and assign these. Um, let me just see here where we're going to want to... We're probably going to keep putting into the artillery, even though we're short on tungsten. That would probably give us a reason to trade for tungsten, actually. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pump into uh, fighters as well, because we know we need fighters. Uh, so, naval dockyards. We got some naval dockyards. That's nice. Um, let's go ahead and put these into the convoys. We're not anywhere near where I want to be at on the convoys at the moment. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and get another one going towards those carriers as well. And, yeah, let's do one more towards convoys, just because how short we are at the moment on those convoys and we are going to go ahead and trade as well for those things that we need uh like that oil yeah and we're going to help them as well by giving them civilian factories uh and you know what let's not trade with it doesn't make any sense to trade with portugal uh instead let's I'll let this run for a second instead let's trade with you know our allies uh the united states oh yeah these are all the united states allies okay so yeah, it would make far more sense to do that. Uh, and let's see if we can't get this wrapped up, guys. Um, these guys are marching over here. This is all done. Okay, so just about done here. These guys are currently defending. Uh, so I just we just need to take that province there, and then we're done. And it's wrapped up. They should capitulate now, in fact. Let's go and attack over here anyways, just in case they don't. Uh, you just don't know what they're going to do. Uh, they're stuck in one province now. Go and attack over here. Get them wrapped up. There we go. Excellent. So this has been a big question in the, the comments um, uh, what to do here, uh, whether we should annex them or whether we should we should puppet them. Uh, obviously, you don't even have the option for, for puppeting them here uh, in this mod. Uh, essentially what happens is we have to annex them, um, which we can just do that, I think, and retake that, um, And but you still have to annex them. There's no other option here. Uh, you have to take all states. Um, and then the mod then fires an event, which we'll go ahead and end our turn here now. Uh, we'll fire an event, and it'll give you the option to... Normally, it just gives you the option to either annex them or puppet them. Those are your, your choices. Um, but apparently, there is an option, because and a lot of people wanted me to do this. Uh, a lot of people were wanting me to... Let me have a nice longer border here against the Germans. Um, yeah, a lot of people were wanting me to... Um, Puppet and annex so only take um, part of uh, The the territory here and then puppet the rest of it uh, And and man, that is an option guys and we're gonna send these guys back to Paris uh, This is our offensive force and yeah, they, they got a little bit of experience um, Not much these guys got a bit of experience as well uh, But yeah, that is there's an option, but here's my thing guys is what's what's the point? Um, what's the point of having uh, and here's the event What's the point of having a uh, a small, weak, uh, Flemish state here. Uh, I don't, I don't understand what what we'd get out of that. What benefit we'd get out of it? Uh, we could use the territory far better. Of course, they'd use their manpower better than us. Um, but yeah, they just. I think we'd be better off using these factories than they would. And we need factories, guys. And look at how much steel that is. That's a substantial amount of steel to just kind of give up. I don't know if there's any other territory here that, that has significant. Not really. Okay. But yeah, that's that's the main thing, is the factories and that steel. So, the destiny of Flanders Wallonia. After liberating the Flemish and, Wall and Walloon population from the violent reactionary government created by the Germans, we have decided their destiny. We could create the country of Flanders Wallonia, this time with a syndicalist government, or we could directly rule these lands. After all, some of them are true French territories. Another possibility is the final separation of Flanders Wallonia into a separate state. Uh, so, Flanders Wallonia, a new syndicalist country, uh, so Belgium will become the owner and controller of uh, Vlanderin. Vlanderin. Um, they gain a core on it, and they become our prophet. And then, of course, we will gain political power from that as well. Uh, we can liberate uh, Flanders and Wallonia, and that will result in us annexing Belgium, and then they become puppets, two separate uh, puppets. Interesting. All right, so yeah, they'll become... Uh, we'll have two little puppets. 
liberate Flanders and annex Wallonia. So that's the option everybody's talking about, uh, where we can, um, yeah, uh, take some of it for ourselves and then uh, you know, let Flanders be its own separate uh, puppet uh, country under us. Uh, that'll cost us 60 political power. Or we can drop um, these lands belong to the French. This is 30 political power. We lose stability and we lose war support. Well, that is interesting. Huh. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not as much political power as it used to be, though. Or I don't know if this is just for this particular event. But you know what? I am going to say that it, it belongs to us. Um, I, I like this this better. Uh, I, I think we're going to go ahead and do this. I know that's going to cost us, but I think it's, it's all right. Uh, it belongs to the French. Rightfully so. <laughs> so what we're going to do... Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and build another front over here. Uh, it seems that we might actually need to do, yeah, we're gonna have to do two fronts. Okay. Yeah, I sent these guys to Paris, not even thinking about the fact that, yeah, we've got an enemy over here uh, that we might have to take care of. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and give them a front, take over all the Netherlands, and then we're gonna need to do a, another front line here just for this little bit of territory and just assign them a few divisions. It's not going to be much guys. Uh, I don't really think they're going to need a lot. Uh, we'll do, well, there are five divisions there. Something to consider. All right. So we probably will need to give them a little bit more than I was expecting. Uh, this guy here, he's going to go in his own little army and he's going to train up. Oh, well, wait a minute. I don't want to do that. Oh, damn it. Uh, I just wanted to send one of them, uh, but I do need to give him an army first. <laughs> so he's going to train. Uh, he's going to do his thing. Uh, and then, these troops here, let's take a few of them. We'll take one of these these uh, motorized troops. And at the very least, should probably give how many troops they have. They have five there, so let's also put five. And we'll have 16 going over this way. I think that looks nice. Um, and then with that that one guy, when he finishes training, which won't take long because he's, he's almost there, he'll join that, and then we'll outnumber him there. All right, excellent. That looks good. So our troops here are uh, have arrived uh, back home, and it's time to send them back out. Um... Let me just uh, contact these guys, and yeah, they're already losing territory because of us us leaving there. So it's kind of a big deal that we left. Uh, even if we declare war on the Netherlands, um, we, we still want these guys going there for as long as possible. Uh, so yeah, we can only send three, unfortunately, just because of the size of their army. Um, so we're gonna have to send them back the the army they had. Uh, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and send them them. Uh, send those volunteers to them. And then I know these guys have already won here, but I want to be there for the victory. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and uh, send volunteers, even though they are about to win. All right, there we go. So our uh, troops will leave again, go back out there to do some more fighting. And of course, they're going to allow it. Uh, our guys will arrive. Let's see here, 7th of October. Okay, so it's going to be a little while uh, before we really have anything to do. Uh, but yeah, these guys are going to get onto their fronts here. And then the Netherlands. Do we want to go ahead and start justifying against them? I don't know if we want to declare war immediately. They're not part of a faction. Hmm. I just got to see what they're currently working on. If they're going to go uh, peacefully join the faction. I mean, because it's an option. Um, yeah. Not seeing it. All right, entrenched military. So what's the CNA government? Let's just take a look here. So CNA is the social conservatives. Okay. Um, so they're entrenching. Um, support the pillars. Got it. Yeah, CNA rules alone. That's the route they decided to go with. Okay. Uh, so they're probably not going to go socialist. Well, that's unfortunate. They've been working on their army a lot. Wow. Look at that. Working on their navy as well. All right. Um, so... I think we should go ahead and start working on a claim on them. The other option would be uh, Switzerland. We could also attack Switzerland, uh, which is a good source of aluminum. Uh, just taking a look uh, at the resources, of course, you would say that it, obviously you'd want to go with uh, Switzerland for that aluminum, um, but I think they have more factories here. Uh, 20 to 22 civilian factories in Netherlands, six military, two dockyards, uh, compared to yeah, <laughs> I think it's clear who should attack. Does the Netherlands still have? No, they don't have any other lands. Yeah, I think we should probably attack the Netherlands, guys. I think that would be the best op option. Uh, that would give a massive front against Germany, too. They also don't have those defenses there. It'd be probably difficult to defend this massive front, though. Uh, that'd be something to consider as well. Uh, this will increase the front, too, though. So, yeah. Uh, or we can just attack them both. <laughs> that would be a, a good goal. But let's do Netherlands first. I think, I think that would be the best way to do this. Yeah. 
I think that'll work out nicely. Uh, we'll attack Netherlands first. Um, let me just take a look. Are these guys going socialist at all? They might go. They got nationalist populists in power. It's not impossible. They could end up going socialist naturally. Uh, so let's go ahead and start just fine. Um, well, we, you know what? We probably don't have. Nope. We don't have the political power. Never mind. We'll have to wait. All right. So let's just go and wait uh, until the October um, where we get our, our uh, uh, volunteers out there uh, where they can start assisting our allies again um, because, yeah, <laughs> obviously... Uh, America doesn't really need our assistance. It's done. Um, I don't know if they could have done it by themselves without us, though. We played a huge role. I think the Syndicalists often win. From what I heard, obviously, I don't have much experience with the mod. From what I heard, they often win. Whoa, wait a minute. Union of Britain just declared war on Ireland. Oh, okay. I was thinking Ireland was part of the German faction for some reason. Um, okay, because yeah, I remember reading something about their lore or whatever, where Germany helped out in Ireland a lot to try and cause problems for the Brits. Uh, so, and that, and I guess that was in World War One. All right, so Britain's trying to reconquer Ireland. Awesome. Expand your expand your territory. I'm all for that. Uh, I'm okay with that. Obviously, we're doing the same over here. Uh, it'd be kind of hypocritical if we criticize them for that. Let's go ahead and add these guys over there uh, so they can hopefully grab this territory here. And we're going to need, I think, 35 political powers, what we saw there, before we're going to be able to, to conquer them. Yes, 35 political power. All right, so it's going to take a little while to get there, uh, but that's all right. And we are now entering into October. That means just a week away before our volunteers get here. Uh, so we'll get to fight with them a little bit before the episode ends. But yeah, probably not a whole lot, unfortunately. All right, we'll just wait patiently for them. We got these Marines just sitting here not really doing nothing. Could put them on the front or something. Uh, overall, I think we're going to have trouble um, defending our front. Oh, what happened over here? Did Bulgaria lose? Yeah. Yep. At the very least, they lost some land to Serbia. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if these treaties and stuff aren't done over here just yet. Um, yeah, I don't. I think they lost this. I think they, they had control of this. I think this all got uh, given to, to Greece. Did Romania not get anything? I don't really remember what they had. Uh, ro what uh, Bulgaria all had. What Romania might have gained. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, Bulgaria lost, as expected. Not surprising. Definitely not surprising that they lost. They were uh, fighting on many many fronts. God, yeah, they're doing so bad over here. All right, our guys have arrived. Excellent. Uh, so right. let's get on this front like stat before they lose this entire war. Uh, so we're going to come over here and attempt to help out immediately. Uh, let's go ahead and give a, a front because uh, it looks like the kingdom of Spain. Yeah, we can't do it just yet. We're going to have to wait. Uh, also, let's go ahead and contact them about, because I didn't do this before, about giving them volunteers. All right, and then we should have a uh, wing sitting somewhere. Yeah, they're sitting right there, and they should approve it. They did. Uh, and let's go ahead and add these to... Where would be the best place to add these? Let's put them here. They'll have coverage. It'll be fine. All right, so just our planes getting there alone is going to be helpful. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our troops here. Um, they're so far away. Uh, but you know what? We're still going to have them come over here and get involved. Uh, we're going to have them come across here. All right, go get to work, guys. Uh, so they'll go over there, and we're just gonna try and manually control our troops here, because this is, oh, the situation in India is done. It looks like Mysore state was uh, defeated, unfortunately, for them. Uh, the Princely Federation is getting their lands back. So it didn't go well for the South. Uh, it looks like they uh, did lose that, that uh, I don't know what it was, an independence movement, something like that. Um, but yeah, they, they didn't do so well. They didn't go well for them. All right, so we're trying to get our troops over here now. Uh, the agrarians take power in Bulgaria. Okay. So what's happened over here? The Agrarian National Union. Who is the Agrarian National Union? Who is that? It seems market liberals are still in power over here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know who any of these are. But yeah, I'm, not, I'm just seeing market liberals. I don't know who was in power in the first place there anyways. So I guess I can't really provide much commentary on that since I don't even know what the hell the situation was. Um, so we now have the political power. And you know what, guys? It's the end of the episode. So it would actually be a good point for me to just uh, end it here and just kind of ask you guys what you think we should do next. Um, yeah, I would have just attacked Netherlands, but now I can get a little bit of input from you guys. Do you think we should go after the Netherlands? Or do you think we should go after Switzerland? Switzerland would be an easier target in a way, they have less divisions, um, a lot less divisions, 
However, they also have those mountainous provinces, which are, you know, obviously challenging. They have the rivers, of course. Uh, rivers are nowhere near as challenging as uh, having to attack uh, some mountains. So, and of course, they have all these uh, places you can't cross and stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be a, a little bit more challenging fight over here in uh, the Swiss state. So, something to consider. Oh, what happened here? Yeah, that nationalist pop is in power now. Okay. Yeah, not, is that, so is that like a... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. All right, well, anyways, um, so should we go after Switzerland next, or should we go after the Netherlands? I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on this. Um, in fact, we're going to leave a little vote on this. Uh, there's going to be a vote up here uh, on the video uh, where you can select your option. Uh, it's going to be a little icon. Some people have trouble finding it, but it's a little icon you can click, and then it opens up, and then you do a little vote. Uh, yeah, so that's the option. Switzerland or Netherlands, and whichever wins a vote, that's who will attack first. We might end up attacking both guys, but whoever we're going to... This is just for who we're attacking first. That's why there's no option for both. Uh, and then, yeah, hopefully we can save Spain in the next episode, and we'll help out in America as much as we can, because, of course, it looks like the syndicalists have one here, which is fantastic fantastic news uh hope you guys enjoyed the episode uh, a lot of fun overall because we got to conquer somebody we got little country belgium uh conquered over here we got to bully somebody i suppose uh and yeah things are going well all around the world for syndicalists i also wanted to mention that i played a new game today guys it's an astronomer uh, simulator type game uh it's called uh astron tycoon um and yeah i, I enjoyed the little game if you're into astronomy at all and space and stuff like that it's an interesting little game uh so you might want to go check out that video it should be up uh, i'm saying this i've recorded it already but i haven't actually um put it up yet uh so you know there can always be problems so if it's not up it's because you know youtube's been a dick or something but yeah go check that out if it's up there uh so yeah if you like the video make sure you leave a like uh leave a comment love talking to you guys let me know what you're thinking subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our content and thanks for watching guys